animation tweening. Now, what animation tweening means is that instead of making an animation one frame at a time, I'm going to make an animation with only two frames the first frame and the last frame. And with tweening, all the frames will be inputted for me automatically. To demonstrate, I'm going to once again move the word Photoshop to the left side of the monitor. And again, to do this, I will first have to duplicate the first frame. So, dupl duplicate selected frames, and as you can see, I have now two frames, which is exactly the number I need. So, the second frame, I simply move it all the way to the left instead of making it one step at a time. And here's the tricky part again, hold shift and click on the first one and both frames will be selected and move your cursor down here to tweens animation frames and it will tween the animation for you now you can select you can choose the number of frames you wish to add in between the first and last frame so let's say I wish there were um, 10 frames in total so I would insert number 10 and make sure since that you are now moving a word that you are mo changing the position of 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 uh, of the animation so this has to be selected click OK and 10 frames will be inputted between the first and last frame so now you have a total of 12 frames now let's play it and see how it goes now as you can see the word Photoshop is gradually and in loop moving back and forth from right to left of the monitor. Now the second example I'm gonna show you is with this one here. Now you have a pretty girl in, in the picture um, and she's in the city of Taipei and now I'm going to make her gradually disappear with tweening. And to do this I will first again have to duplicate it and I would have to select the girl under layer and not the background or else I would have to, I would uh, I would be making the background transparent rather than the girl itself. So this uh, on a second frame I would click on the girl and under fill or on the right of fill I would change the transparency from 100% to 0. Now as you can see the first frame I have the girl appearing and the second frame disappearing. Now again, I select both frames, click on Tween's Animation Frames, and this time make sure that op opacity is selected and uh, in order for this to work. And now I wish only to um, add five frames in between. So I click OK, I play it, and as you can see the girl is gradually um, disappearing. Now, of course, you may all you may uh, you may make an animation where um, the object, or in this case, the girl, is disappearing and also moving at the same time. To do this, you simply uh, well first you have to go back to uh, the duplicated uh, frame part of the of of your history, and uh, now on the second frame, since this will be your last frame, and all the frames in between will be inserted automatically you want to make this your last scene so to do this you drag the girl all the way oh I'm sorry you have to click on the girl under um, under layer and drag her to say uh, over here and make her disappear again and again I select both frames click on tweens animation frames and let's say I want to add um, eight frames in between and uh, there you go the girl is now moving gradually to the to the top on, on the right side of the corner and is now gradually disappearing at the same time and that is animation tweening